Welcome to MBS League Preview 2021-2022. Albatin's Yusuf Al Shamari on how he is graduating into an all-round player. Off the pitch, we click with the fast-moving world of social media in around the league. And in player versus player, turning it on in attack are Abdulrahman Gharib and Ola John. The best of the best met in the Saudi Super Cup 2021. Saudi Kings Cup winners Al Faisali faced SPL champions Al Hilal. Just 16 minutes in and two-time Super Cup winners Al Hilal were behind. Mohamed Al Amri's instant control and stunning volley gave Daniel Ramos's men the lead. And they built on it soon after. A mere eight minutes, Guillermo Augusto's deep free kick was headed on by Julio Tavares, and Romana Malfitano scored the second foul Faisali. Their fans were exuberant. But some anxiety must have ebbed when, five minutes before the break, Salim al Dossari performed a feat of athleticism and accuracy. A stunning way to get Al Hilal back into the contest. Fortune was beginning to point in the champion's direction. On the stroke of half time, Tavares swung at Hyun So Yang and it was a red card for the Al Faisali striker. In the second half, Musa Marega pulled the ball back across the six-yard area for Yasser al Shahrani to level the score. And it all came down to a penalty shootout. At 4-3 down, Al Faisali's Walid Al Ahmed stepped up, but Abdullah Al Mayouf saved. Joy for the goalkeeper and his teammates. Al Hilal were Super Cup winners for a record third time. So a second piece of silverware in the space of six weeks for Leonardo Jardim's men, who had also won the AFC Champions League trophy. Al-Shabaab's chase for the top had seen the Riyadh club win their last five games at home, scoring 12 goals along the way. Mid-table Appa had only tasted victory once on the road and had not scored in their last three away. Eagle in the middle, works it into the space of al -Juay. For a fast start here, this is Bahebri off the line by Al-Yami. al -Yami down the left, he looks up and crosses in. Arriving, al -Kid! Unstoppable! And the former Al Shabab player gives up the lead. Great vision from Al Zouai. Al scored crosses in. Eagle off the crossbar. Banega puts it in. Shalahili was there. But the final touch of Al Baraka. And Al Shabab have leveled. It's an own goal. But it's a vital goal for Al Shabab. Abba end Al Shabab's winning run at home. This was already a crucial meeting for Al Batin and Al Etifak. The home side was second bottom, but only three points behind their visitors. So it was almost a case of must win or at least must not lose. The long ball forward. Azaro takes it down. Al Salem. Great opportunity straight at Campania. Goalkeeper gathered. Suze with a deep free kick. Bounces down off the crossbar. Al Slis. Abreu with the clearance. Mauricio Antonio. Deep ball played in. Abreu takes it down. Flicks it over Alawashir. And whacks it against Keish. Manashi. Wins the ball, hoists it high. Azaro's in here. The follow-up, Al Azar. He's put it over the crossbar. A tough encounter, but the points are shared. Yusuf Al Shamari has gone from student to football graduate. He has become a mainstay in Al Batin's attack. 
أول شيء كنت في جامعة الحدود الشمالية فرع كنت ألعب في نادي الجامعة وبعدين رحت سجلت في النادي في نادي عرض وكان مدرب سعود التخ الله يعطيه العافية هو اللي ساعدني هو اللي طلعني على الكورة يعني لا أنسى بعد الوالد كان مساعدني مرة لعبت في نادي عرار وخذت الهداف وخذت الجوائز عندي ثم جيت النادي الباطن وسجلت في الأولمبي الأشكر الأستاذ بزيع هو اللي صعدني في فريق الأول كنت أول مرة ألعب في فريق أول ولعبت مع المدرب ماتشادو آه لعبت أول مباراة لي نزلت الشوط الثاني وسجلت هدف أول ما نزلت آه من لحظة دخولي في فريق الأول كان آه الداعم الأول والرئيسي الأستاذ نصر الهويدي رئيس نادي الباطن The 24 year old wants to build on a strong first half of the season. بالنسبة لي أنا كيوسف شمري أشوف يعني إنه شيء زين شيء كويس إنه في الدور الأول مستجد اثنين ولكن الدور الثاني راح راح أطور من نفسي أكثر وأكثر وراح أشوفون شيء ثاني بإذن الله. His education is far from over. Playing in various roles develops new skills. I am not a player or a defender. I am the one who needs to play. 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 وكانت بداياتي كلعب اساسي كانت مع المدرب هذا مدرب سيبيريا. Coaches aren't the only teachers. He learns from the likes of Fabio Abreu, Yusuf Al Jebli, and Mohamed Rai. اول شيء فابيو يوسف Al Jebli ومحمد Rai لهم تاثير على الفريق. لو يغيب واحد له تاثيره. وفابيو من الهدافين الموسم اللي راح. ويعني أنا لعبت وخذت الفرصة يعني سواء مع مكان محمد رايحي ولا مكان فابيو أو يوسف فالمدرب هو اللي يشوف لكن كلهم لعيبة محترفين وما يختلف عليهم اثنين يعني. The arrival of new coach Alan Horvat to replace Nenad Lalatovic could spark a revival in the side's fortunes. أول أسبوع من جانا المدرب ألين هورفات كان الانسجام شوية بعدين خلاص بعدين يعني انسجمنا مع المدرب والنفسية مرة حلوة مع أسلوب واحد مع الصغير ومع الكبير آه بدايتنا كانت سيئة يعني مع المدرب اللي راح ومع مدربنا الجديد ألين هورفات راح نحاول نصحح الأوضاع اللي في بداية الدوري وبإذن الله مع انسجام الفريق مع مدرب راح نكمل نهاية الموسم راح تشوفون الباطل موجود في الموسم الجاي بإذن الله. Now a chance for a first away win of the campaign against Abha, the side our batting beat at home earlier in the season. استطعنا في الدور الأول فز فزنا عليه فزنا عليه في أرضنا يعني نقول إن شاء الله إنه سهلة بإذن الله مع تكت في اللعيبة ومع انسجام المدرب مع اللعيبة راح نفوز بإذن الله. Damak and Al Nasser were level on points in the hunt for third place. The Knight of the South, winless in three matches, trailed the Riyadh outfit on goal difference. The visitors had won their last two away games, and the Yellow Tides swept forward. Fullback Sultan Al Ghanam pulled the ball back for Taliska. Not the easiest control, but his finish was top class. At the other end, Abdulaziz Majrashi delivered. Goalkeeper Walid Abdullah denied Mazin Abu Sharad. Dama kept pressing. Philippe Augusto's header was looping in, but Al Ghanam got back to clear off the line. Al Nasser's fans again relieved, then infused, as Abdul Fatah Adam raced into the area to tee up Gonzalo Piti Martinez, the Argentine's first goal after a long injury layoff. A fourth straight SPL victory took Al Nasser three points ahead of Damak and the same distance behind second place to Al Shabab. <laughs> Al
Al Fateh, two points above the drop zone, hope to take advantage of Al Raid's poor away record. Just a point from their last five games on the road. But they seemed up to speed on this away day. Quicksilver Karim El Berkawi raced into the area only to be upended by Abdullah Al Youssef. The striker dusted himself off to take the penalty. Al Raid in the lead at half time. Just after the break, Al Youssef's deep cross was headed back by Firas Al Brikan for Ivan Santini to draw the sides level. The last 20 minutes were frenetic. The ball was cannoning around in the Al Fateh area and struck Amar Al Dahim on the hand. A second yellow card, and the home side were down to 10 men. Mohamed Fouzer stepped up this time and produced a delightful chip to put Al Raid back in front. In the last minute, Fouzer skipped away and took his time to set up El Berkawi for his second of the match. Even then it wasn't over. Christian Cueva curled in a free kick, but the host still lost three goals to two. Back to winning ways for Al Raid, while Al Fateh suffered a second consecutive home defeat. Al Faisali were out to put the disappointment of the Super Cup defeat to Al Hilal behind them when they welcomed Al Ahli, who are only ahead on goal difference. Ten minutes in, Ismail Silva's corner, a Mohamed Al Sayari flick on, and Hisham Faik finished in off the bar. Al Faisali in front. At the other end, Mohamed Al Meshed showed skill and purpose, only to be denied by the bar. Just before the break, home defender Igor Rossi collided with Philip Braderic, and the referee awarded a penalty. Al Ahli's chief marksman, Omar Al Soma, was lethal from the spot. On 55 minutes, Guillermo Augusto beat goalkeeper Mohamed Al Yami at the near post. Going into the final 20 minutes, Mohamed Ghabrani caught Romain Malfitano and the Al Ahli defender was sent off. With nine minutes remaining, Abdul Rahman Gharib's deep corner and Al Soma was on hand to expertly volley home his second goal. The points were shared, but both sides remained in a perilous position at the bottom. Player versus player this week features two left-sided attackers with a twist. Al Ahli's blossoming Saudi star Abdul Rahman Kharib against the experienced Ola John of Al Hazm. The tricky 24-year-old Kharib has scored three goals and provided three assists. Ola John, five years his senior, has also netted three and set up three. In five SPL seasons, the dazzling Kharib has contributed a combined total of 23 goals and assists for Al Raqi. Impressive going forward, he improvises to create chances. That spark of inspiration could fire Al Ahli towards a positive 2022. During John's debut season in the SPL, he's put in impressive performances for newly promoted Al Hazm. Cutting in from the left, he looks to pick out the corner. Using this technique, he helped his side draw at home to Al Ahli. Later in the show, in stance attack, Al Hilal looks to keep the wolves of Al Ta'awun at bay. But first, let's click on the world of social media. Let's catch up with all the news off the pitch in Around the League. Al Etihad's Igor Coronado with a stylish end to a training session. Not sleep, but relaxation with the family on the Red Sea. Pity Martinez fired up the barbecue for Al Nasser teammate Funes Mori. Anselmo enjoyed the artificial slopes with his relations and then joined Taliska for dinner at Nusrat in Riyadh. 
YouTube channel Vieto with two babies and three dogs took a walk around his neighbourhood in the capital. The Riyadh season is in full swing. Al Fayha put their skills to the test at the next level football challenge with Ahmed Bama Saud on the ball. The playoffs for the first women's Saudi national championship took place in Jeddah in early January. A historic occasion for the teams and the players with Al Mamlaka overcoming challenge to triumph. And the popular Brazilian Sandro Manuel bade farewell after five seasons at Al Ta'awun. Tears and gratitude. Thank you, Sandro. Thank you. Obrigado. That's all for now from Around the League, our digital window into the SPL world after the final whistle. Now back to the action from Match Day 16. A contrast in styles when Al Ittihad met Al Fayha. The home side had been involved in late thrillers for comeback wins in their last two outings to retain top spot. The Tigers knew that they would have to be patient against Al Burtukali, who had recorded low scoring draws in their last three away trips. Ryler looks to open up the play. Paxidis, long distance shot, Grohe behind it. Al Shamrani looks up, that's a good ball played in. Al Mouad, wide of the post. Bruno Enrique with the corner, curls it in. Al Hausawi, what a powerful header! There was no stopping that! Aliti had coming forward looking for the second. Bruno Enrique floats the ball into space. Romarinho! What a finish! The ball was perfect. Stojkovic came out of his goal and the Brazilian read it to a treat. Bahussein. That's an excellent ball over the top. Romarinho's in again, takes one touch and pulls his shot wide. Can't be perfect every time. A big victory for Al Ittihad. Contra side march on at the top. Al Fayat give it their all. No stopping Romarinho. The fans love him. Al Ta'awun hosted Al Hazim in a regional derby at the foot of the table. The Wolves, unbeaten in their last three at home, were three points ahead of the visitors who were bottom. Ola John with the pass into the corner. Al Obed pulls it back. Kadfi! And Al Hazim take the lead. A precise volley. Pass through to Yaslam. He's got free to Wamba. And that's number 10 of the season. To Wamba at his ruthless best. Ball into to Wamba, holding off the defence. Kaku knocked it through. Ruvano's gone down. It's still there for Altau. Kaku dropping the shoulder, trying to find the angle. And the referee holds up play to check this challenge from Lopez. Penalty. Alvaro Madran on debut to give Altawun the lead. He hits the crossbar. The Spaniard once again crossing in. The keeper's missed it off the post. Adiago, the Brazilian's goal scoring run continues, and Altawun take the lead. Oh, and that was late from Al Shamari. Referee sends him off in added time. It's consecutive wins that keep Al Tawun moving away from relegation. Al Ta'i were beginning to find their feet and had enjoyed three straight wins at home to take them into the top ten. So the arrival of Al Hilal promised to be a special occasion with the champions fresh off their Super Cup triumph. Pereira curls it in, Carrillo flicks on, and Wu So Yang at the back post knocks it home. What a start for the visitors! 
Fieto turns, gets away. That's a wonderful ball played through. Marega's in here and slots it home. Alilal go 2 0 up. Wonderful reverse pass. And then the striker did the rest. Al Olayan plays it in. Pereira slips. Marega off the post. Sayud turns away, plays it wide. Malili's in here with the snapshot. Al Mayouf gathered easily. Al Olayan races into the box, steps away. He's going to go all the way here and smashes it into the roof of the net. A stunning way to open your account for your club. Carrillo. Marega takes a touch and fires it home into the far corner. And that's number four. Wonderful strike for his second goal of the game. Alilal starting to find form. Four goals this afternoon. The blue wave is starting to roll on. Goals, saves and tackles. In Stats Attack, the numbers always stack up. This week we preview a clash between two teams hungry for points in 2022. Title defenders Al Hilal host Al Tawu. Al Zaim have dominated this encounter, sealing 17 wins from 23 SPL games and will be looking to add to their five consecutive victories against Al Tawu. Leading the blue wave is Bafetin Bigomis with eight goals this season. The Lion King's crucial strikes against Al Ta'awun helped the Riyadh Giants surge to the title last season. But the Wolves have bite. The third best attack. 27 goals so far. Unfortunately, their defence is porous, conceding 31 times. One more than they let in in the whole of the last campaign. They were beaten in the reverse fixture. Al Zaim struck twice late on, which sets up an exciting return meeting. That's all from Stats Attack. Now let's check out more numbers with the league table and the top scorers' standings. At the top, Al Ittihad have extended their lead to three points over Al Shabab. At the other end, Al Faisali sit behind Al Ahli and Al Fateh on goal difference. Odion Igolo has company in Taliska, while Karim El Berkawi is in the hunt. We open our match day 17 previews with Al Ittihad at Al Raid. Al Raid are on a roll at home, three wins in a row. And overall, they've collected 16 of their 24 points on their own patch, helping them stay in the top half of the table. Al Ittihad have been irrepressible in the first half of the season. They're genuine title contenders. In their last five away games, they've picked up 13 points. Al Ittihad came back from 3-0 down to draw the reverse fixture at Al Shabab but at home they've only taken five points from their last five games. Second place Al Shabab will be tricky visitors. They've earned 11 points, scored 10 goals and kept three clean sheets in their last five away games. Al Nasser have climbed right up to third. But they have still been consistently inconsistent at home, winning and losing twice and drawing once. Al Faisali will be looking to break their away streak of no wins in six, having gained just three points and scored just three times in that run. No half measures for Al Tai on home soil. It's either win or lose. The victory column was looking healthy with three consecutive wins, then defeat to Al Hilal. Damag haven't been the same side on the road, conceding 10 goals in their last three away games, but one of those was that five all attack fest at Al Fateh.
Al Fayha, along with Al Shabab, are the only undefeated sides at home so far, winning four and drawing two, and the only team to concede just once. Al Fateh lost three consecutive games on their travels without scoring in two, then won at champions Al Hilal to make it eight points earned away from home. On match day 17, Al Raid hosts Al Etihad. Al Shabab are at Al Etifak. Al Nasser meet Al Faisali. While Al Hilal welcome Al Tawu. Next time, Al Faisali are out to cause Al Etihad problems in Jeddah. Join us then for the best of the exciting world of MBS. MBS League Preview 2021-2022